What's up, people? I'm Jesse. I'm Mike. We're from Kill Switch Engage. And we are at Amoeba Records, and we're going to show you what's in our bags. First thing I picked out of your lovely store is one of my favorite hardcore bands of all time and actually a band that changed my life, man, honestly. I didn't even know this existed and this has got all different kinds of songs on it. It's got a bunch of like pre-United Blood recordings, so a lot of the old stuff, the demos. It's really rad, I saw this and I immediately threw it in my bag. I like the metal stuff, but that stuff's good too. <laughs> no, I like the hardcore stuff better. I mean, I like all of stuff that they've, they've done, but like the early stuff for me, the energy. And even the message, like, you know, there are a bunch of like skinhead hardcore dudes talking about unity and peace. It's like, so rad, man. A band that has been through a lot of changes and like their crossover stuff when they started becoming more metal, it influenced everything, including us. Yeah, yeah, so this is a great record, great band. My first pick is this rad t-shirt from Carcass. Carcass yeah, this Heartwork. Yeah. From the Heartwork tour, I bought this on this tour and it's shredded and it doesn't fit anymore, so I figured I'd get a new one. I love this artwork. I love this band. I love this record. The funny thing about this record is that the entire record is so-so, except for the guitar riffs make this the standout record of the century. Yeah, I love, I, no, I love, I love all of it. It's got a sleeve. I like the, the, the drums that aren't perfect and I love the vocals. Carcass was the first band that had the higher vocals as opposed to the deathy vocals. We're both massive Carcass fans. I, I love Huge. Carcass, man. This is the record that changed my life, artwork. All right, I'm gonna curveball. I'm a really big reggae fan, and I love old school dance hall. And Barrington Leve just puts me in a good mood. Uh, he wrote a song, um, Under Misensi, where he talks about a cop approaching him about having uh, weed on him. And uh, he's basically just saying, look, you're looking for the, the shitty weed? I don't have shitty weed on me. I only have the weed with no seeds. Under Misensi, me on Misensi, It's such a brilliant song, and like this is the greatest hit, so everything's a hit. It just reminds me of summertime vibes, puts me in a good mood. I love dancing to it. I'm a huge Barrington Levy fan. I uh, love that old school dance hall stuff. All right, I can riff off that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he can. Bad brains. Good tie-in. <laughs> There's some reggae on this. There's a lot of hardcore. It's a different record from the record that came before it, which was all out hardcore. This was a record that I was told by Mackie of the Cro-Mags. He started a band with Bad Brains and this record was written by that band. All of a sudden, <laughs> Bad Brains kind of got back together and they're like, we need new material. So they took all that material and put it into this record. So it actually started as a completely different band which is kind of a cool thing to hear. I love this record from beginning to end. It is different for the Bad Brains. It's a little more mellow. More rock. More rock, mm. but man, it is good. That's my favorite Bad Brains record by it, far. It is good. All right, let me stay on the reggae train since we're on the reggae train. Augustus Pablo. Very popular in the dub music. Um, dub music being like, you know, reggae music that's manipulated by a producer where they take the vocals out, they add effects. It's just probably my favorite style of music on the planet because anytime I put dub music on, it just relaxes me. Augustus was the first one to play the melodica, which is a very soothing instrument. You blow in it like a keyboard. And this is the first dub record I ever bought. Well, dub reggae record that I ever bought when I was younger. And it hooked me in. And uh, I'm a massive Augustus Pablo fan. All right, we're not doing any more reggae. Yep. Switching gears. 
Murder City Devils, oh, in yeah. name and blood, this record, another one that changed my life completely. I never was a big keyboard fan, and this has, this, one of the main instruments is the keyboard, and it does leads in this record, and they, they speak to me, and they almost, they, they give me goosebumps, and they almost make me cry. They're so important mm. and great. They make more sense on this record than I've ever heard. Uh, probably the single most important band in my younger years, the first band to really turn me on to like um, political storytelling, sarcasm in music, um, mixing like surf rock, punk rock, rock and roll. The sheer sarcasm and wit of Jello Biafra. To me, he's probably, at the time of this record and around the era of this record, was probably the best frontman in punk rock of all time. As far as punk bands go, they were the most talented. Oh, by they far. Could, they could actually play. Yeah. My least favorite to Dave Kennedy's record. Oh, disagree. <laughs> disagree. <laughs> so check it out, The Cure. One of the best yeah. bands on the planet. My favorite band of all time. If I could be in a band like this band, I would do it in a heartbeat. I love vinyl that has greatest hits so you don't have to keep flipping around to find your favorite tracks. And this one encompasses everything. This has got all the great stuff. Well, there's a couple of clunkers, <laughs> but um, all the old stuff. It reminds you of when you first heard it, mm, to me. It's a nostalgia band for me. I have a lot of memories attached to The Cure. Some good ones. No Fascination Street, mm, unfortunately. Baseline of that. I might have to return this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it punk, um, GBH. When I think of punk rock and I think of this, how punk rock should sound, to me, GBH are the quintessential punk rock band. The, the attitude, the chainsaw sounding guitars, the really bad production on the drums, it's, they're just probably one of the best punk bands in the world. And they're still going and they're still killing it. And they're much older than Mike and I and they're still destroying it. If you've never listened to punk, you have, you're like, oh, I wonder what are good punk bands to get in. Go straight to GBH. So I got a few things in here. I found this thing. It's got all sorts of awesome pins. I'm a pin and patch fanatic. And this one right here, Peace Sells But Who's Buying, Megadeth pin is gorgeous. As the coolest looking pin I've seen in a long time. And uh, Carcass. This Carcass pin right here is gonna be in my pocket very soon. That was it. There's a few. That was great. Thanks, guys. Thank you.